the second sorrow the flight into egypt unlike the first sorrow of our lady it is easy to tell why the flight into egypt is one of the most sorrowful times in her life in the gospel of matthew we read an angel of lord appeared in sleep to joseph saying arise and take the child and his mother and fly into egypt and be there until i shall tell thee for it shall come to pass that herod will seek the child to destroy him think of it in the night mary awakes to see joseph preparing them to leave their home not only they are leaving they are going to egypt to escape from king herod who wants to kill her infant son what grief must have torn her heart did she think of simeon at that moment remembering the sword which would pierce her soul the pain we may never know what took place in the heart of mary in those anxious days on the journey between bethlehem and egypt we should remember her sorrow which she surely did carry in her heart and which caused her so much pain let us also ask saint joseph spouse of the blessed virgin to help us comfort mary in her sorrow pray for the grace to avoid sin as it was our sin that christ died at that mary suffered so much pain we grieve with thee o mary most sorrowful your heart was pierced by the sudden departure from your homeland to the foreign country comfort us when we meet unexpected challenges that draw us away from our complacency Jesus continues to escape even today in the form of innocent people who leave their homeland because of war and violence today thousands of people are desperately trying to escape from Afghanistan after the country's fall to the Taliban they experience a painful separation from their homeland and with their near ones there is no hope for these people to get out safely only miracles from the hand of god can make changes in their lives we should seek to flee from sin and sinful companions let us also remember the people who migrates due to insecurity poverty economic hardships and climate vulnerability mother mary and joseph's escape from herod is similar to the flight of many people today from the threatening situation what lesson must we learn here life is a mixture of inconvenience and disappointments and we must submit ourselves to the will of god hey mother mary ya sampurna jagata chi tu karta karvita ahes ane dukhancha samna karnari mata ahes tujya jivanatil अगणित दुःखांनी आमचे मन हेलावून जाते तरी ते दुःख हसत मुखाने सहन करणारी तू एक सहनशील माता आहेस यासाठी तू सदैव आमचे आदर्श होती आहेस आणि राहणार हे मदर मेरी तू कृपावंत दयावंत अशी मूर्ती आहेस तू अज्ञानातून ज्ञानाकडे तिमिरातून प्रकाशाकडे कुबुद्धीकडून सद्बुद्धीकडे मार्ग दाखवणारी आणि दिनदुःखिताची सदैव हित जपणारी हे मदर मेरी श्रीजीवन म्हणजे सहनशक्ती नवनिर्मिती त्यागाची मूर्ती समर्पणाची कीर्ती अन संस्कारांची खाण प्रेममय दान थोडक्यात आपल्या सर्व आदरणीय सिस्टर्स जणूया स्त्रियांच्या रूपात दडलेल्या हिऱ्या गणिकच आहेत त्यांच्या अंतर्मनातील गाभाऱ्यात प्रेम दया करुणा माया संस्कार त्याग समर्पण व नवनिर्माण इत्यादी गोष्टी जणू त्यांच्यात ओतप्रोत भरलेल्या आहेत 
तेव्हा आमच्या या बघिनींना सिस्टर्सला तू उदंड निरोगी आयुष्य प्रदान कर हीच तुझ्याजवळ प्रार्थना